Write a piecewise function for the graph. Each piece of the function is linear. When x is less than 0, the graph passes through the points negative 2, 0 and negative 3, 1. Let x1, y1 equal negative 2, 0 and x2, y2 equal negative 3, 1. Substituting these points into the slope formula, you get the quantity 1 minus 0 divided by the quantity negative 3 minus negative 2, which simplifies to 1 divided by negative 1, or negative 1. Now use the point-slope form of an equation of a line to find the equation of the graph when x is less than or equal to 0. Substituting negative 1 for m, negative 2 for x1, and 0 for y1, you get y minus 0 equals negative 1 times the quantity x minus negative 2. Distributing the negative 1 through the quantity x minus negative 2, you get y equals negative x minus 2. So when x is less than or equal to 0, the graph is the line given by y equals negative x minus 2. When x is greater than 0, the graph passes through the points 2, 1, and 3, 3. Let x1, y1 equal 2, 1, and x2, y2 equal 3, 3. Substituting these points into the slope formula, you get the quantity 3 minus 1 divided by the quantity 3 minus 2, which simplifies to 2 divided by 1, or 2. Now use the point-slope form of an equation of a line to find the equation of the graph when x is greater than 0. Substituting 2 for m, 2 for x1, and 1 for y1, you get y minus 1 equals 2 times the quantity x minus 2. Distributing the 2 through the quantity x minus 2, you get y minus 1 equals 2x minus 4. Now solve for y by adding 1 to each side, leaving you with y equals 2x minus 3. So when x is greater than 0, the graph is the line given by y equals 2x minus 3. So a piecewise function for the graph is f of x equals negative x minus 2 if x is less than or equal to 0, and f of x equals 2x minus 3 if x is greater than 0.